hello friends welcome back to the one night study channel today we are going to discuss about the pulse jet engine okay in this video we will discuss the construction of the pulse jet engine the thermodynamic cycle of the pulse jet engine and the advantages and the disadvantages of the pulse jet engine okay in the previous video we have discussed about the detailed explanation of the ramjet engine okay so the pulse jet engine is very similar to the ramjet engine in construction except that in addition to the diffuser combustion chamber and the exhaust nozzle it has mechanically operated flapper valve grids which can allow or stop air flow in the combustion chamber okay so this is our line diagram of the pulse jet engine we will discuss one by one each part of the pulse jet engine okay so in this diagram we see that the fuel is entered from this side okay this is our spark plug okay this is tail piece or the nozzle okay and uh, the air is drawn or uh, from this side okay so this is our intake diffuser okay and this is our valve grid and this is the combustion chamber okay so the main important parts of the pulse jet engine we can write here so that it is it becomes easy to remember all the parts the first one is the diffuser the second one valve grid which contains springs okay that close on their own spring pressure and why we use valve grid here because it can allow or stop air flow in the combustion chamber combustion chamber a spark plug a tail pipe or nozzle okay so these are some important parts okay now if we talk the working of the pulse jet engine then look the function of the diffuser okay it is to convert the kinetic energy of the entering air into the static pressure rise by slowing down in the air velocity okay so when a certain pressure difference builds up across the valve grid the valves will open okay this makes the fresh air into fresh air to enter the combustion chamber where fuel is mixed with the air and the combustion st starts to start the combustion initially the spark plug is used once the combustion starts it proceeds at constant volume thereby there is a rapid increase in the pressure okay which causes the valve to close rapidly okay what happens when the combustion starts in the combustion chamber then the pressure increases rapidly so that this valve grid 
closes rapidly and the air which is enter in the combustion chamber it cannot be returned to the outside okay thereby there is a rapid increase in the pressure okay the products of the combustion surges towards the nozzle they expand in the nozzle and escapes into the atmosphere and in this way the pulse jet engine works okay so this was the working of the pulse jet engine okay so now we are going to discuss about some important key features of the pulse jet engine okay so let's discuss the first one is it is similar to the ramjet engine except the addition of flapper valve grids as we have discussed in the construction of the pulse jet engine that here we use a flapper valve grids okay which can allow or stop air flow in the combustion chamber okay the pulse jet cycle is similar to the auto cycle in the ramjet engine it it was similar to the breton cycle but the pulse jet cycle is similar to the auto cycle okay and the pulse jet engine it was used in the german v1 type of the bomb in the world war second okay this can be the example for the pulse jet engine it is usable at subsonic speed remember this that we can use the pulse jet engine in the subsonic speed okay because it is very simple and cheap for subsonic flight and well adapted to pilotless aircrafts also okay there are two types of the pulse jet engines which are used the first one is the valve type of the engine and the second one is the valveless type of the engine okay so in the valve type of the engines we use the flapper valve grids okay so it has some disadvantages because the valve which comes under the mechanical component and it will have definitely some wear and tear so uh, the efficiency will be decrease and the valveless type of the pulse jet engine okay it can develop the thrust at zero speed unlike the ramjet engine okay ramjet engine was cannot was uh, not able to produce thrust at zero speed we have to use a external device in the ramjet engine but in the pulse jet engine it get it can develop the thrust at zero speed also it has low thermal efficiency and limited speed range okay the maximum operating speed of the pulse jet is limited by mainly two factors remember this the first one is difficult to design good diffuser at high speed and the second one is the flapper valves the only mechanical part in the pulse jet also have cert certain a natural frequency and if it coincides with the cycle frequency resonance occurs and the valve may remain open and no compression will take place okay now we will discuss about the thermodynamic cycle of the pulse jet engine now this is our thermodynamic cycle okay so this is ts cycle and this is our theoretical pulse jet cycle on pv diagram and this is our actual pulse jet cycle on pv diagram okay so in this ts diagram the process 1 to 2 it is the it is known as the stagnation pressure loss process and the 3 to 4th uh, is the non isentropic process okay in the pv uh, diagram which is theoretical for the theoretical pulse jet engine we see that the operation of the pulse jet is during starting compressed air is forced into the inlet which opens the spring loaded flapper valve grid okay the air enters the combustion chamber into which fuel is injected and burnt with the help of a spark per combustion occurs with a sudden explosion process 2 to 3 okay the 2 to 3 process is known as the sudden explosion process the combustion is at constant volume instead of a at constant pressure okay remember this thing that in the pulse jet engine the combustion occurs at the constant volume unlike the 
अदर इंजन वेयर द कंबसन अकर्स एट द कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर ओके द पल्स एट साइकिल एज आई हैव टोल्ड दैट इट इज मोर नियर टू दी ऑटो साइकिल ओके एंड दिस इज अवर पी वी साइकिल फॉर द एक्चुअल पल्स जेट इंजन ओके हियर इन द प्रोसेस थ्री टू फोर इज नॉन एज एक्सपांसन एंड एक्सेलेशन ऑफ द गैसेज एंड द प्रोसेस टू टू फोर इज द पल्सेटिंग गैस कॉलम लिविंग द सिस्टम नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द पल्स जेट इंजन देन इट्स मैक्सिमम ऑपरेटिंग एल्टीट्यूड ऑफ इंजन इज लिमिटेड बाई एयर डेंसिटी कंसिडरेशन ओके इट कैन डेवलप थ्रस्ट एट जीरो स्पीड आई हैव टोल्ड इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड हाई लॉन्चिंग वेलोसिटी इम्प्रूव द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द पल जेट इंजन ओके थ्रस्ट इज डिक्रीजेज विथ द एल्टीट्यूड एंड डजेंट कंटिन्यू इट टू इंक्रीज बाई इंक्रीजिंग फ्लाइट स्पीड ओके द फ्लाइट स्पीड ऑफ द पल्स जेट इंजन इज लिमिटेड बाई द एरोडाइनमिक कंसिडेशन टू बिलो एट हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर आवर ओके इट इज सिंपल एंड चीप फॉर द सबसोनिक फ्लो ओके एंड द यूज ऑफ द पल्स जेट इंजन इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू पायलटलेस एयरक्राफ्ट ड्यू टू सीवेयर वाइब्रेशन एंड हाई इंटेंसिटी नॉइज ओके नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स एडवांटेजेस एंड द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ द पल जेट इंजन सो लेट्स डिस्कस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द पल जेट इंजन सो इट इज सिंपल डिवाइस हैंस द लेस्ट लेस मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट ओके इट हैज स्टेटिक थ्रस्ट ऑफ द कंप्रेस्ड एयर बिकॉज ऑफ द कंप्रेस्ड एयर सो इट डजेंट नीड अ डिवाइस फॉर इनिशियल प्रपल्सन ओके इट रन्स ऑन ऑलमोस्ट एनी टाइप्स ऑफ द लिक्विड फ्यूल्स इट इज रिलेटिवली चीप ओके now the disadvantages very short life of flapper valves and high rate of the fuel consumption in the pulse jet engine we use the flapper valves okay and the life of the flapper valves is very short so we need to change this flapper valves again and again the speed is limited to the range of 600 to 800 km per hour it is also limited in altitude range it has lower propulsive efficiency okay so friends we have discussed all the fundamentals of the pulse jet engine we have discussed its construction the thermodynamic cycle performance and the advantages of and the disadvantages okay so friends if you have not still subscribed our channel then please subscribe our channel and if you are liking our videos then share with your friends okay friends thank you